Hi, everybody. Great to have you on this Monday morning. I'm Jenna Lee. I'm John Scott. If things look a little different to you here around here, it's because we are in our brand new studio. We didn't today. move the entire newsroom up here. No, we have new I, real estate. I wonder if they miss us down there. We'll find out, won't we? We will. We have something special for you coming up on that. We promise to bring you, though, the news just as fresh as when we broadcast from our newsroom. You know, that's nothing compared to some of the salaries that these guys are getting. But you made an interesting point. In the NFL, you're not allowed to get bonuses whether you win an extra game unless it's explicitly put in the contract previously. That's so right. this is in violation of that. Wow. Timing is everything, isn't it? And so many stories. And we have this crucial meeting at the White House over what to do about Iran. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Let's check this out. You have a choice in life. According to one headline on a popular website, you can quote, sit at your desk and die or stand and look stupid. How about that? Producers tell us to get up and walk around and go to the other monitor. We're going to have to listen to them because they're going to say it's good for our health. I'm thinking a bicycle, <laughs> a stationary bike well, I right like here. That, like a spin class. Yeah. Midday. Yeah. I like that. All yeah, right, Dr. Race. Siegel, you might be on to something here. I'm endorsing it and I'm talking to the producers about uh, it right now. I'm afraid. Uh, Dr. Siegel, thank you very much. He may join Thanks. us in the corner also on a spin bike. I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> Why not, right? Be fun. Hey, there are some brand new weather troubles hitting the tornado rabbit. Hi, everybody. Great to have you with us today. I'm Jenna Lee, and Iran is taking center stage at the White House right and now. Obama is trying to strip tax deductions for oil companies. He calls them subsidies, but there are tons of subsidies given to other industries as well. And the question comes down to job growth and which industry creates the most jobs and therefore should be given. How does the Newswatch panel feel in the new studio? Feeling, getting used to it? I, I think we're, we're going to work this out, yeah. Kind of working, working our way into this. Uh, we are definitely getting used to the new studio. Regulate and all, it. Jenna? It is a huge story for this year, Shannon. Thank you so much for the update. You got it. Well, we are settling into our brand spanking new studio. Quite a big change. It is a huge change. Yeah. From the newsroom. Don't. I'm not so sure. So we spill drinks on them, we freeze them, we don't give them any windows, and then we disappoint their mothers. That's what we've done to them over the last couple months. We were dragging cables all over the news. <laughs> it was, uh, I'll tell you what, they really are uh, good natured folks because we kind of, you know, made yeah, their lives their space, complicated, you know? shall we say. How would you like a TV camera hovering over you 24 hours a day? Or, well, two hours. Two, a good two hours. While you're trying to do your job. <laughs> it's still, we were, we were imposed a little bit on them. And it was nice to always ask our foreign desk or the media desk yep. a question. They would always answer us. They were great team players. So uh, we'll be talking. We'll be visiting them. We'll be back down once gonna in a while. I'm going to just leave you. And we'll be right back. Lee, it is Tuesday, not just any Tuesday, Super Tuesday. You almost wore a yeah, camera video coming in from Syria right now, as you can see it. Wow, just again, we're seeing this month after month after month. Arizona Senator John McCain, though, changing the story today, calling for a major shift in U.S. policy towards Syria. In a speech from the Senate floor, McCain calling for U.S.-led airstrikes against the Assad regime, not just for humanitarian, humanitarian reasons like we've heard before, but also to further isolate Iran on, and that's part of the strategy. Let's go to national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin, who's live at the Pentagon. And Jennifer, also this story: a woman sues her former college, uh, former college, I should say, claiming that her. Welcome back, everyone. Right now, some brand new video just into our newsroom. And just a quick warning: what you are going to see, uh, some of you might find disturbing because it's 10 and 11 year olds. Man alive! Just just keep the speed down, because. Well, Prince Harry can thank Grandma for one of the most awkward assignments of his short career. Yeah. Uh, the British Prince Harry it, can thank Grandma for one of the most awkward assignments of his short career. Yeah. Uh, the British Let's have a coffee, talk a little bit about that. Hey. You know, Prince Harry, that he seems like a. Capable, capable guy. I, I think he's been in other awkward situations. Just call it a hunch. I think he could probably handle it. He's a good one. emissary. And hey, Jamaica in March, not a bad right, assignment. Right, that's a pretty good assignment. Not a bad assignment. <laughs> Iran is making a move in the nuclear showdown, allowing UN inspectors. I, I do have a cup of coffee, but there's, there's also. <laughs> 
There's also, also a what? cupcake <laughs> ATM story to tell you about later. Anyway. Well, it is a huge day in the Republican race as voters go to the polls in 10 states. We're keeping an eye on all of them for you, everybody. I'm Jenna Lee. I'm John Scott. It is Super Tuesday, the day when Mitt Romney hopes to break away from his rivals. But his challengers have some other ideas, and nobody is going down without a fight. Looks good, doesn't it? I like the pink ATM. That would be enough just to get the money out of it. All I don't even need the cupcakes. It's uh, like it being pink. i, I got to think of what else I could want out of an ATM. That could get us in a lot of trouble. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Hope you're liking our new studio. We, we sure, sure do. are. Yeah, that's for sure. America Live starts right now. See you, See you tomorrow. Well, fallout from Super Tuesday victories for just about all the candidates. I feel like Wednesday needs a name, right? You just can't call it Wednesday. That's boring old Wednesday right now. <laughs> we hope it's not going to be a boring Wednesday for all of us, everybody. We're glad you're with us. I'm Jenna Lee. And I'm John Scott. Good morning to you. New questions about how long the fight for the Republican nomination will last after a Super Tuesday well, show. Carl Cameron used that expression, a knife fight between Mitt Romney and Rick Santorum. We can't forget about Newt Gingrich, though, as well. When he saw those delegates from Oklahoma, he was right in there, right? You, the former House Speaker won his home state of Georgia last night, the results showing Gingrich with 47% of the vote there. Uh, he says it's only the first chapter. Robert's continuing to follow Newt Gingrich today as well. Let's talk a little bit about Rick Santorum. He's made the case to go one-on-one -on -one against Mitt Romney in the race for the Republican nomination. Eventually, he hopes against President Obama for the White House. So Thank now you, J.D. Well, the Republican presidential candidates are piling on a key issue. This is very key on the campaign trail right now. We're talking about, well, Scott Juan just mentioned Iran, and when we're talking about energy prices, but there's a lot of concern around the world about an Iran with a nuclear weapon. Do you guys have one of those purses? I'm just curious. Period. That man <laughs> purse? No, only Kilmeade has one of those. Just wondering. <laughs> Brian Kilmeade. I can see you both kind of with one. Rick, thank you very much for that. Kilmeade's on the radio right now, so he's not listening he's not to gonna, me. You're but you're going to get in trouble. He has a purse. A he does. A purse. A purse. A man purse. <laughs> All right, we have a couple of big stories coming up next hour. At the top of the hour, we expect to hear from Peyton Manning and find out what his yeah. grade is for the Indianapolis Colts. That should be interesting. Going to be a dark day in India, I think. And a big uh, story as well with this. One person, one vote, right? Great to have you with us, everybody. So glad you could join us today. Have a great Wednesday. America Live starts right now.